tonight they have to try and struggle against Jacob DeGrom. Well, Jacob looking to get his fourth win. Look at that earn run average. I, my goodness, and only have three wins at this time of the season. This, this point in the season, of course, the walks are outstanding. The strikeouts, he's on top of the world. He is just absolutely phenomenal. Josh Rojas tied in a knot on the first 100 mile an hour fastball, so yep. he wasn't quite ready for that one. Yes, and Jacob uh, always comes out with the heater in the first couple innings, Gare. Comes off five innings against the Rockies in which he allowed just one run and struck out nine and Rojas fouls that one away. Rojas playing shortstop tonight. Nick Ahmed the regular shortstop the UConn product getting the night off. And Jacob's got a live fastball right now I can see that. He's bringing it up there. And Rojas down on three fastballs that one at 101 and DeGrom. Three pitches into the night has his first strikeout. Very demoralizing for a hitter to get three straight fastballs and go sit down. You don't want that to happen too often, Gary. It's bad for the self esteem. He is now throwing 206 pitches this year, 99 miles an hour or higher. The next starter on that list, he's got 206. The next is Sandy Alcantara with 44. I mean, he's just throwing harder than anybody in the game and having more success. Than anybody in the game. Here's Cattell Marte, who missed six weeks with a hamstring injury, and he takes a fastball for a strike. Marte, the best player the Diamondbacks have. Two years ago, he finished fourth in the MVP balloting at 329 with 32 home runs. Off to a good start this year, but it's been injury scarred. And that fastball at 102 misses inside, a ball and a strike. 102 is where DeGrom has topped out in this season at age 32, throwing harder than ever. See the full shift against Marte, a switch hitter who hits well from both sides of the plate. Three switch hitters in the lineup tonight for the Diamondbacks. First fair ball hit to Peraza, and Marte is thrown out two away. Scott's roundup's reliable performer. Yeah, I'd say he's reliable. Since the beginning of his Cy Young run in 2018, he has the lowest ERA in the major leagues at 1.99. And how about this with the first two outs recorded in this first inning DeGrom has now retired 21 straight batters in the first inning this year. Mm. He gave up a couple of base runners in his first start 21 in a row since then in the first inning. That's a way to get off to a good start. Eduardo Escobar another switch hitter. It's been far better from the right side this year batting left handed yep. here just 213 from this side. He swings a lot like Ozzy Albies of the Braves left handed Gary big uppercut almost like a hockey swing and reminds me almost a little bit of your one of your favorite Mets Richie Hebner the way Richie Hebner used to swing. He doesn't grab the back of his uniform every time he steps in the batter's box. All fastball so far from DeGrom two and one. Your Home Depot getting it done most RBIs over the last two plus seasons. Only Freddie Freeman and Nolan Arenado have more. Escobar drove in 118 and hit 35 home runs in 2019 at an off year last year. And he's been up and down to start this season and he fouls back that 101 mile an hour fastball and it's two and two. So Jake has thrown 10 pitches. They have all been fastballs and they've all been 100 miles an hour. He can pitch up in the strike zone Gary. He has learned to pitch a belt and above. And if everybody wants to do that little bit of a launch angle lift and a guy throwing 100 miles an hour it's hard to square it up. McCann calling for his first slider and that worked just fine. One two three for DeGrom in the opening inning on just 11 pitches with a couple of punch outs. No score after one.